Hi everyone, this is Alier Games, and today I'm watching episode 17 of Isekai Spider. Last episode ended with quite the uh, the cliffhanger there. Uh, not only did we see that Kumo ended up not being the Demon Lord, which was actually incredibly disappointing to me, uh, but it seems that she has been attacked by the Demon Lord. Fortunately, I don't think she's actually dead because she has... Uh, well, she's immortal, basically. Um, so that shouldn't be a problem. But God, that is just so disappointing that Kumo isn't going to end up as good-looking as that, essentially. Because that is such a good design. What a waste to not have it be Kumo's final form. Well, that's just very disappointing to me. Hopefully, it can change my mind on whether that's a good thing or not. But as of now, I'm just... I mean, I don't mind being surprised by things, but when I'm surprised by things that I'm expecting, that I'm looking forward to, it's just a disappointment. It's like if... It's like if you know you're going to get a present, but then it's like, surprise, it's not a present. It's not going to be a happy surprise. <laughs> At the moment, though, I don't know whether what I'm getting instead of the present is a good thing or not. So I guess that's left to be determined. Um, but yeah, let's just see what happens. She sounds so much like Aoyuki, but apparently she's not, which is one of the reasons that I thought that they were the same person. God, she looks so freaking good! So is this... Is this the present, or is this the past where Kumo is? Alright, this is where we left off. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> the reason it was uh, censored there is because she was in pieces, I assume. Alright, this is back in the present, and they're exploring the uh, the dungeon that Kumo kind of traversed early on. So kind of like what happens when you live like near the poles and there's no sunlight for a long time. Takumo, please, though. Yeah. 
That's the voice. Interesting. How, <laughs> Kumo? Well, that would maybe be fortunate because I don't think she'd be against them. Well, that's the last thing we were led to believe, sort of. What's he? Oh, he was one of those. That's kind of weird hearing stories like this about Kumo, knowing how she is. Hmm. I can't wait to see how strong she gets. Well, it is a commendable. I want to say a way of thinking. Not very pragmatic or <laughs> easy to survive with, but commendable nonetheless. So I assume by now, Kumo has, like, long left the dungeon. What does that mean?
Interesting how she how she changed the common sense when it comes to those kinds of monsters. What exact what exactly are those? Is it actually going to be Kumo or the vestiges? Oh. Okay, never mind. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a web, but it's just her bow. Yeah, I was about to say that. If it's an earth dragon... You know she's serious when she Naruto runs. You know, she looks really good now, but she didn't when she wore a bikini. <laughs> So it seems that heads-up display is something that everyone has. Wow, that's a really cool looking sword. Oh, there we go, that's the voice. Did they all hear that? That's not a particularly cheery thing to say. <laughs> Oh? Oh. What is this? Oh, of course they say something like that. Hopefully it won't be too long.
Yes, it would really help. They did say things that were relevant. So how did these vestiges even form? Ooh, flashback. Well, almost. <laughs> She's a girl, right? Because I hope I'm not being trapped here. <laughs> because I do like the thing. <laughs> oh, she's fluffy again. That seriously is one of the fluffiest dragons I've ever seen. I gotta say, this 3D model looks actually really good. Better than almost every single other, like, reptilian model that they've used. There's towns that close to there? Okay, so it seems this elf village hasn't been attacked yet, which means what we saw previously with the Demon Lord is about to happen in real time. And now we're back in the past with Kumo. So I guess she attacked her and left. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can defend yourself with just being ahead. That's hilarious. She looks so good. Stop looking so good.
<laughs> what a little snitch. <laughs> Seems she felt, but she probably didn't need it. Yeah, we haven't had a an update on them in a while. Oh, and it's over. There may be something after this. I'm going to give that a, a look. All right, we're back with her. Oh. She's also in there somehow. Wait, really? Oh, please take over her body. Yes, please. Now you're giving me hope again. <laughs> Why are you doing this show? Please stop. <laughs> now it's making me hope again like what the heck you just <laughs> well I hope this doesn't fail I hope she actually does manage to take over her body that would be amazing and also the fact that she's not even trying to do that right now <laughs> Oh, that's kind of hilarious. All right, well, this was a pretty good episode, huh? Even though m the majority of it was inside the dungeon. We got to see something, you know, regarding the remnants of Kumo's activities in the dungeon. But all that happened, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.